Lakers, Lakers. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Big Baby Jonathan here. Welcome to the latest edition of the Big Baby Jonathan Sports Podcast Show. And in today's show, I'm going to be talking about the Lakers win, 113 to 110. Lakers record is at 23 and 3 on the season, man. Like, it's oh, this game, this game, overall, it was a battle. You know what I mean? It was a battle. It was a battle from the start, from start to finish. But the first quarter was ugly. LeBron had seven turnovers in that first half. Everybody was getting layups. Just our offense was up. The, it was down. The offense was down in the first quarter. Second quarter, we got they pushed to 14. We cut to eight and a half. And LeBron and AD and the crew came back together and started the run. But let me tell you how much Anthony Davis scored. 33 points plus 11 on the plus minus department. 10 rebounds, 3 blocks. Anthony Davis' game is a beast. His ability to get to the rim, post up, spin, dunk, fade away. Like, his defensive intensity tonight was tremendous. Blocking shots, run the floor. It's like, come on, man. And also, when LeBron James was struggling in the first half, in the second half, he got 28 points, plus 9 on the plus minus department. 12 assists, 9 rebounds, almost triple double. And shout out to Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, for getting on LeBron. For having too much turnovers, being passive, not being in the game. They talked to him at halftime and said, just be your game. You're thinking too much. Even if you go how if you go six for twenty or two for twenty-five, we're still gonna ride with you. Play your game. LeBron stepped up in the second half. Doing the facilitating, scoring more, Anthony Davis getting involved. JaVel McGee. Shout out to JaVel McGee, man. He got dunked on by Kendrick Nunn, and that pissed him off. I could tell it pissed him off. He ended with nine points plus plus eleven on the plus minus department, ten rebounds. Five blocks. His defensive his defense intensity was great tonight. His defense intensity was great tonight. Love his deflecting the passing lane, blocking shots, put back dunks. Like his defense, if, if we could get JaVel McGee like this every night, it's scary. But the other thing too I, I noticed that I want to let you guys know. You notice that sometimes JaVel McGee doesn't play in the second half. And it's I, I don't know why he doesn't play. He should play more in the second half. Put him out there. His defense his intensity is great. Love his passion, love his grit, love his hustle out there, man. Um, shout out to also who else got off? Not just LeBron, not just Anthony Davis, not just Javon McGee. KCP had 15 points, plus five in the plus minus department, four assists, two blocks. So he did good. Avery Bradley stepped up, 10 points on off the bench. His, his rhythm started to come up the float. You know what I mean? His rhythm started to come up the float, in my opinion. But now, let me go to Miami side of things. Let me see here. Jimmy Butler ended with 23 points. Bam Adebayo had 12 points, 12 rebounds. We didn't, we didn't, we let him get his points. Kendrick Nunn had 16 points off the bench. Um, Kyle Olenek had 15 points off the bench. And Derek Jones Jr. had 17 off the bench. And Tyler Hero had seven off the bench. Overall, we did a decent job. But it was a battle up and down, and it was a crazy game, in my opinion. But the free throws, Lakers shot 15 out of 23 percent. That's 65 percent, unacceptable. Make your free throws, Laker Nation. Make your free throws. They shot 78 percent from the free throw line. Rebounds, we out rebounded them, 60 to 44. Uh, I guess they had a stat. They were like, I think, eight and one when they out rebounded teams. Now they're eight and two because they got out rebounded tonight. You know what I mean? We did a great job. Overall on that, but total turnovers 19 to their eight unacceptable some of the, the turnovers that, that the Lakers did were like giveaways like LeBron threw a pass to A.B. Bradley and the ball gets deflected Nobody runs back Miami gets it and lays it up. You gotta get back on defense, but points off turnovers We scored 29 off their 10 turnovers. That's big points 13 to their 14 points in the paint 52 Lakers got 52 to the Miami Heat 50. Um, largest lead was 11 for us. Theirs was 14. Um, everybody that played tonight in this game deserves credit. Avery Bradley, Jared Dudley, um, KCP, man. KCP has been proving a lot of people wrong, man. A lot of people wrong. And I love what this team is doing. When we get down, when we get down, like I knew when this game was struggling, like okay, LeBron seven turnovers. I'm like we'll turn up in the second half. We'll turn up. 
Because Lakers are a second half team. And when, when championship teams do, it's find ways to win, regardless if it's ugly. He, like this last two games versus Miami and Orlando, and Orlando's not a decent team, but they're still an NBA team. We figured out a way to win. But this Miami Heat game, everybody was saying this is the NBA Finals preview, and everybody's saying that Miami's gonna beat the Lakers. Oh, they're gonna have a tough task on this road trip in December. We're 23 and 3, and we're proving everybody wrong, we're proving all the doubters wrong. And LeBron and AD chemistry is clicking like that. I thought people, I thought Jack McMullen, Ramona Shelburne, Brian Winhorst said that this chemistry ain't gonna work or it's gonna have chemistry issues. <laughs> oh yeah, exactly. Be quiet. Be quiet, Ramona Shelburne. Be quiet, Jack McMullen. Be quiet, Brian Winhorst. You guys were talking negativity on my Lakers. Now we're 23 and 3, man. But we got Atlanta tomorrow. That's gonna be a tough game. I'll get that tomorrow. I'll get that out for you guys for that game tomorrow. But for the Lakers, what they need to clean up on is the turnovers. Because here's the thing. If you do what you've been doing um, last two games, start or playing, not engaged, not being excited, not doing execution, and you have a game like that, like you did in Miami and Milwaukee, Milwaukee can punch you in the mouth. I don't want that. Lakers got to clean up the turnovers because the, the next couple games we got Atlanta, Indiana, Milwaukee, Denver and the Clippers. Those five games, the next five games are going to be crucial for us, but what we did tonight, I love what we did tonight. We came back, we played the passion hustle. We're the best team in the league. I know Milwaukee has another 17 game winning streak, and Lakers have the best duo in the NBA. Lakers have more size than the Clippers, more size than Milwaukee, more size than Houston. We can beat you in different types of ways. We can beat you with AD at center, we can beat you with LeBron, uh, point guard, we can beat you with Rondo and starting. It doesn't matter. This team is built to win championships this year. And everybody thought I was crazy. Oh, it takes some years to jail. You know who, what team that got their first title in the first year? I don't like to talk about them. So, I don't like to talk about them. So, here's it is. Um, the, two, the 2008 Celtics won the title when they first got together. KG, Ray and Paul Pierce. Yeah, they won it. So, it can happen. It's part of basketball. But, here's the thing that I want Lakers to do in the next five games. Play it like you're down in the playoff series. Or just play um, championship basketball defense. Because when you play that championship defense, this defense can be scary. When we lock in defensively, man, it's scary. You know what I mean? This team right here is the best team in the league overall. We're the best team in the West. And here's the thing I don't understand. How, how come everybody's saying that we're the best team in the NBA, but not better than the Clippers? How does that make sense? We are better than the Clippers. You know why they're saying that? Because of that one game. I don't care about that one game anymore. We are showing why they're the best team in the NBA and best team in LA. Here's the thing. That game against the Clippers, we were up 10 in the first quarter. But we did some things that they got back in that game. But at the end of the day, Laker Nation, we are better than the LA Clippers. We are. We can beat them inside and out. We can, We have guys that can guard Iguodala. Excuse me. We can have guys that can guard Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Avery Bradley, Danny Green. Jared Dudley, y'all gonna think I'm crazy. Jared Dudley on Kawhi or Paul George. Dudley's a great defender. Hustle, grits, and grinds. But what I'm saying is, that game on Christmas is gonna be the best game of the season so far. But I'm getting too ahead of myself. I'm excited because us Laker fans haven't had this success in about since 2010. Since 2010. Um, we're the best team in the league, man. Um, I want to see from this Laker team move the ball from side to side. And sometimes this Laker team goes in. Um, droughts where we go ice cold from the field and sometimes LeBron and AD go off the bench and then our offense gets erratic. That's the thing that we're missing. Kuzma's being missed right now because he could score like 10 to 15 points off that bench, bring that energy, bring that hustle, bring that shoot three, drive to the lane, kick out. But for me, somebody needs to step up. You know what? Avery Bradley's coming off the bench here. Dudley's going to come off the bench. You know what they should do? Um, Play Quinn Cook more. Get him going. Get his rhythm going. Put his, put his game. Put his, put him in the game. Put Quinn Cook in the game. Get him going. Quinn Cook's a great point guard. I know we have three point guards, but Quinn Cook can score. We need more score. Alex Caruso did a thing last, last night, or tonight. You know what I mean? His ability to get to the rim, play the passion, hustle, facilitate. Just this defense the Lakers play out there, man. The first half was ugly. But the second half, we turned up. And I knew we were going to turn up. You know why? It's repeat itself. Down eight. We'll turn up. And we got back in the lead. Or got the lead back. 
that. Anthony Davis dominating the post, 33 points. What do you want? He's he's playing at a high level and he's having that success he didn't have in New Orleans. And he's getting a taste of that what it's like in Los Angeles. So everybody that said that Anthony Davis is gonna leave, you're smoking some. You should be drug tested immediately. But the Lakers are showing why that stars want to come to LA. It's showing like that, you know what I mean? Oh, you traded for Anthony Davis. He wouldn't want to come to LA if he's a free agent. Here's the thing I'm going to ask you guys. I have to get to it. Here's the thing. If the Lakers win the title this year, does that mean superstars don't want to come to LA? Exactly. So be quiet, haters. Crickets, crickets. You feel me? But I got to get into it. It's been on my mind for the last couple days. Um. I want to know this, and then I'm going to have to throw this question at you guys and let me know in the comment section down below. Why does LeBron get criticized about every little thing in the NBA? Every little thing. Every little thing. Like, I don't know. Just for me, man, LeBron gets criticized every time he does something. So it makes me more and more and more and more and more happy that we're playing great at high level. And I want Lakers to win the championship this year with passion. I want that to happen so bad because I don't want people to shut up when it comes to people hating on LeBron. You know what I mean? He, he's been criticized his whole life. Let him enjoy it. It's the 17th season, man. Let him dance. Let him dance. Who cares? Let him go see his son play basketball. Let him go do his thing. Who cares? He's 17th season. He, he's a great player. He's one, top two, top five of all time. You know what I mean? So let him do his thing, man. Let LeBron do his thug fizzle. Who cares? Quit criticizing him. Every time you criticize him, he feels more to the fire. And I don't care if you got it. No, here's the thing. If you, if you guys continue to criticize LeBron, he hears it. So he's put fuel to the fire. So fuel to the fire, you're going to get him excited. And we're going to win the championship this year. Um, but I'm going to end this Big Baby John the Sports Podcast show. I'm going to leave all my social media link in the description. Turn on those post notifications, man. Shout out to every 228 subscriber, man. Appreciate all you that subscribe to my channel. And if you're new, turn on the post notifications. Leave a like, comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of the podcast. I love interacting with my Laker familia on YouTube. But until then, you guys have a great, 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 great day. And always remember, Lakers are the best team in the league. Laker Nation, we out here, baby. <laughs>